one shaper 1000 here today we got this drill well it's not a drill it's a uh, it's an impact driver it's a Bauer it's from Harbor Freight I gave 40 bucks for this back in 2018 I think it was so it's going on five years old uh, the first thing that happened to it was the LEDs went out of the front there's three LEDs in the front of this thing one there one there and one there now that didn't bother me too much but the problem now is the trigger you got to really push real hard and sometimes it gets stuck like there that's all the fat that's all the trigger you got it's like right there you got to really push on it so we're going to take this apart and see what's wrong with it still got you know good battery life in it I've only charged this thing like three times since I've had it and I use it a lot so that's what we're going to do we're going to try to see if we can't figure out what's wrong with this trigger we're going to use my 62 and 1 precise electric screwdriver set I use this quite a bit this thing is handy uh, I did a review on it so all right guys let's go ahead and jump into this let's get it taken apart Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, I got my light set up here. I don't know how well, I mean, you can see the reflection here. But, maybe if I move that up there, that'll help. I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and open our little tool pouch up here. This is rechargeable. Like I said, I've did a, I've done a review on it. I've used this thing several times. This thing's amazing. I love this thing. Got a little magnet here. That you can put your screws on so they don't, uh, so they don't roll all over the place. We'll set that there. Now let's see what this takes. Uh, we need to take this off first, so like I said, it's not working properly. It's almost, you know, you don't even want to use it. So um, if if we can't fix it, you know, it's forty bucks. I'll get another one. It's lasting me four years. That's ten dollars a year. You know, you can't do that with a Milwaukee or Dewalt or Makita. Alright, so it looks like we've got Torx in the front. They're, they might all be the same, but let's just see. Um, get a long one here. Not sure what size. Uh, this tray is magnetic too. I think the other, this one might be too big. And it is. Okay. Now, let's get our little tool out here. And then it just locks into place magnetically. It's got a light on it. Course it's very quiet because it's so tiny. Alright, All right, now 
may not have to take take that off but okay let's see if these are the same size these ones are so let's move these over two different kind of screws so far coming in okay so anyway this is the same size it just had some dirt in it so I got it I just wiggled it a little bit and there's another one here So far, I think these are all the same size. Yep. Try to get this one out. So much gunk in there. There it is. A little bit of rust. Rust and dirt in that one. Okay, so. I'm going to speed you up. I still got two, four, six, seven more. So, no, I got five more. So, I'll speed you up. This screw here does not have to come out. There's a place for it on either side. That's to hang a metal clip so you can hang it off your belt. I don't, you know, I don't use it so I don't have it on there. Alright, so let's see if we can get this apart here. This is a 20 volt. Like I said, for 40 bucks, it has been very good to me. So, alright, here's the problem. piece of plastic there that may have been it may have been sticking down in there and keeping the the trigger from going all the way and I don't know what it's from not from it's not from here I think that was it let's stick this back on here and let's try it I don't know where it came from I mean it wouldn't surprise me because I have dropped this thing the height of the house before onto the driveway out there and it still worked fine I'm guessing I was guessing off that trigger, but I don't see anything broke on there, but that was sticking there and I'm guessing that's what it was okay, There's another piece Let me see something here It's not off of that Because I noticed at first when it first started acting up if solders don't look that great um, it uh, it didn't want to switch from forward to reverse came out of there came out of the inside of here is that light helping any yeah I see so it came out of the inside of there so that's what happened to that all right but it's kind of it really can't go anywhere you know what I mean it's kind of snug in there that may have happened of course you know plastic gets old and brittle especially you know if you're in a real warm climate 
area like you know we're in Florida so it's always hot no matter what I do with this thing it's always hot it's laying in the sun but I think that's what it was these were keeping this from let's put this on here back on here let's try it out just a quick video for you monkey asked me the other day if I was going to do a video a day for Christmas until Christmas I said no but uh, but I'll, I'll try don't you know I mean it's not a I did it last year let's put this up here there we go get this lined up down here just like that okay now let's put our battery in it's not gonna hurt it's not gonna shock me that's it see before remember we was only getting about right there and you had to push real hard we got it okay now let's just go ahead and put this thing back together uh, I know you should pull the battery out and all that yeah I'm, I'm putting this one this one up top so that way if I ever have to drill it out it'll be easier to get to so I'll put it up here on top but yeah I didn't check them lights but I'm not like I said I'm not I'm not gonna worry about these lights they were the first thing to go and I was like wow but I had had it almost a year before they went so all right, let's get you sped up. Okay, so I want to show you something. Um, when you're a lot of the restore guys, restoration guys, and the, and the people that that uh, restore tools, they'll tell you because if you if you're going to be taking if you think you might be taking something apart again and you just screwing screws into plastic, it'll strip out pretty much first or second time. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you what they do and what I've done for years but it was good to hear them talking about it was okay when you start not a good angle but when you start that screw back it backwards until you I don't know if you can see that let me see if I can get you in here a little better shot okay now see back it up and you'll feel it click Okay. Uh, might not be the best one, but I can feel it like clicking. Sometimes you can see it. Go until you feel it click, and then it'll start right in, just like that. Let's let's see if we can do one more here for you. So you put it in there and you, you could and if you just start screwing well it's going to make new threads every time then you run out of plastic so back it off see it just dropped in it started now we can and it goes straight in one more for you in case you didn't see that one okay now i'm going to turn it oh yeah i'm going to turn it backwards focus there dropped in now sometimes you can barely feel them but if you go real loosely you'll feel it 
like you'll feel it going and then it'll like drop even if you can't see it you'll usually usually feel it drop into that hole and that's where you started at so you don't strip that plastic out there that one dropped in really I know you didn't see that one so all right guys well that's pretty much that <laughs> make sure these are tight let's get you back out here again I got touch screen on this thing and I can zoom in and out it's a little oops it's a little slower than if I just use the button but the button I've got my shotgun mic on and it kind of covers up the regular button up there and you gotta kind of feel for it but all right so there we go that was that was our problem right there right there um, I can't see that going anywhere I mean that's what it was let's try it one more time very nice I am very happy with that I like when jobs go good like that alright guys so there you go we fixed it I am I gonna fix this no no I'm not uh, a lot of guys would and there's nothing wrong with that but as you can see this plastic is shrouded all the way around the handle it can't move up and down it can't move left and right I mean a little bit but you know that's just natural so I would say when I dropped it off the roof that time that's what happened that plastic got down in there and it wouldn't let the trigger go all the way so I would say that's what that's what that issue was from in fact if you look at that trigger there right there that may have been it may have hit something on its way down but yeah that's uh yeah, I'm not going to put those back in. I, I don't feel a need for it. If more of it breaks off, then I'll do something with it, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right, guys, so there you go. There's another video for you, and I'm going to put my stuff away, get it all packed back where it belongs in the in my little, my little case here. And I appreciate you guys watching. I am... Uh, And this thing, I forgot to show you this too. It, it won't slide out until you and this is a metal case. Well, it's aluminum. It's an aluminum case. I think I think it's aluminum. But it's you know, it's stout. So yeah, um lost track of what I was gonna say to you guys. So anyway. Hope you like my light show of the house. I'll show you what we did inside. And put this back in here so it doesn't get all mucked up or stick to a bunch. <laughs> Maybe stick inside there. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I worked two evenings. I didn't film setting them up this year. Although the ring picked it up, and I'm sure the other security cameras pick them up, picked it up. Uh, but yeah, and I tried to. You guys, my eagle-eyed viewers will know I I done some done a couple things a little different this year. I try to do something a little different every year, so it's not the same thing. So so you don't get bored with it, and you know, monkey and her mom they. They was out together for a while. Monkey had an appointment, and then while they was out, they went to the mall and did a little Christmas shopping for the grandkids. And uh, so it looked really pretty for them when they got home. So that's what I like about that. <laughs> I'm just fiddling with this thing uh, that you know they can enjoy that.
Oh, I've been opening the wrong end of the box, guys. <laughs> All this time. <laughs> I've had this thing for, what, a year? I've been opening that side. You're supposed to open this side. But, yeah, so... Um, I should charge that up while I... I haven't charged it... Uh, well, I can say once. Yeah, I charged it one time when I first got it. But I haven't charged it since. And I, like I said, this thing's been a godsend to me. Um, I use it quite a bit. Uh, we got a lot of little things that have screws. You know, you got to take a screw out, put a battery in something, or change the battery or whatnot. But, so anyway, guys, again, <laughs> I forgot to put this in, but I'll go ahead and charge it since it's out and make sure it's charged up for next time. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys' Christmas season is going well. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope your month is going well. And uh, I appreciate all your support. And thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. My camera was crooked. <laughs> Yikes. Sorry, guys. I'm not a professional. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care. Bonus footage. Okay, so we got these tweezers that came with this kit. I don't know how well, but they're very, very tiny. Um, just a little cap that goes on it because this will stab you. That's how tiny they are. It comes up to it like a needle point. So, ooh, so that we got these plastic little things you can pry off different things. Uh, your little guitar picks, different thicknesses to pry open a phone I don't have one yeah I do I here you know to pry off a phone or uh, not laptop but your notebooks um, also that's what this for, this is for um, it's also got a little thing here for your uh, to take memory cards out of like your phone and stuff it's got this little deal kind of pointy on one side and more round on this side um, and this is to put on your glass like for fixing iPhones and stuff you put that suction on there and you and you heat that and you can pop it off I don't do a lot of that because I don't even mess with that kind of stuff but this thing I found really cool it's a magnetizer demagnetizer uh, for those, this is for those of you that didn't see my uh, video. Um, just take that, stick it through there, and it magnetizes it. Now you're trying to get down in something, and this keeps sticking to something. What do you do? You demagnetize it. Let's run it through that end. It's no longer magnetized. I just thought that was pretty cool. I wonder if I can magnetize this thing. Let's see. Nope. Well, that might not. Well, yeah, it did magnetize it. So let's demagnetize it. Run it through here again. It's not magnetized anymore. Yeah, it is. There we go. So, that's pretty cool. Well, this thing's still magnetized. There we go. All right. Just wanted to throw that in there and show this to you. Oh, this is a, a C, USB-C, so same thing my phone takes. Got a little uh, light there, so when you plug it in, you know it's charging, and then you'll know when it's charged. So, alright, just a little bonus footage there for you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys.